Hi, I'm Dr De Bruin, and this is another A-Level Chemistry exam walkthrough from the Transition Metal topic of Inorganic Chemistry in AQA A-Level Chemistry. As with many questions from the Transition Metal topic, we find that this is quite a synoptic question, which means that it includes material from all over the specification. So we start off with electron config, which is taught as part of atomic structure right at the start of Year 12 Physical Chemistry. Then we move on to a little bit of redox, and then we meet the new material that you were taught as part of inorganic chemistry in year 13. So let's look at this electron config first. So firstly, we're thinking about the iron atom, and that's going to have an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d6. And those last two bits you can write in either order. So some people choose to keep their threes and fours together. My personal preference is to write them down in the order in which the electron shells are filled. Either one is credit worthy in AQA A-level chemistry. And then if we look at that iron, it's important to be aware that they've asked us about the two plus iron, not the three plus iron, because under pressure in the exam, sometimes people just reach for the wrong iron. And we need to be aware that as well as filling first, that 4s subshell is going to empty first. So we're going to have an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d6. So there's no 4s2 in there anymore because the 4s subshell has emptied first. Then we move on to a little bit of redox and the question has been quite kind and to be honest AQA have been quite kind with this kind of question the last few years in that they've told you to use oxidation numbers and they've told you um, which species to look at so even if you hadn't read on and identified that this was a transition metal question um, you could kind of maybe identify from that um, that we want to be looking at the iron and the manganese and we're looking for how to explain that this is a redox reaction so you need to show that reduction has taken place in other words the oxidation state of something has gone down and also oxidation has taken place and the oxidation state of something has gone up so you need to include the numbers and you need to identify which one is which so if we take the iron first um, we can see that on the left side we have plus two and we could identify that either from the formula of the iron sulfate because you know that sulfate ions have a two minus charge so this iron must have two plus to balance it out or the fact that actually in the question they've given you the IUPAC name they've told you it's iron two sulfate and then over on the right hand side that's where we've got our iron three sulfate um, so if we look at those two numbers we can see plus two has gone up to be plus three so therefore the iron has been oxidized and then if we look at the other transition metal that is in this equation the manganese we can see that over on the left it's got an oxidation state of plus seven in the potassium permanganate and then on the right hand side it's just a boring manganese two plus iron so it has an oxidation state of plus two so for the manganese we've gone from plus seven down to plus two that number has reduced therefore it has been reduced next we get a little snippet of a question about iron in hemoglobin so you should be able to describe how the oxygen can bond to that central fe2 plus iron in the hemoglobin and then when it gets to the cells it's actually water that replaces that oxygen um, in the ligand those of you who take biology are really familiar with this idea that carbon dioxide is not actually carried by the hemoglobin it dissolves in the plasma so it's not actually carbon dioxide that is replacing the oxygen as the ligand it's actually a water molecule and then finally we need to write this equation for this um, reaction that's happened so we have our hexa aqua iron iron so you've got iron three plus surrounded by six water molecules hence hexa and they're being um, swapped out for these four chloride ions so because the chloride ion is larger we can't fit six of them around you only fit four so that's why you see the shape change and why you see the color change and so we're left with um, iron with those four chlorides and because each one of those chlorides has a single minus charge the first three of them kind of neutralize that iron three plus to get us back to a charge of zero and then the fourth one gives us an overall charge of minus and then we have these six water molecules that are given up thank you very much for watching and i hope that you are finding these walkthroughs of a-level exam questions useful in your revision for a-level chemistry if you are then don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments which topics you'd like me to cover next and i'll be back soon with some more a-level chemistry